Guten Tag! That's what we'd say in Germany to say hi. And because I'm in the German mood today, I'm gonna make you some pretzels. We only need five ingredients to make the perfect pretzel dough. So let's get started and let me show you how it's done. Let's start by adding in our water and our yeast. And as usual, because we're making a yeasted dough, as with any bread dough, you need to activate it first. We're gonna do that in two minutes. I'll see you on the other side. Now that our yeast is activated, we're going to add in our flour. And I'm gonna use strong white bread flour for this one again, because I think it actually makes a much better crust, makes a much better, nice and chewy pretzel, exactly what we really want. And then we're gonna add in some salt. And then we're gonna add in some olive oil. This is for the extra little flavor kick. And now all that's left to do is some kneading time and then I'm gonna show you how to roll these guys out once they've rested. We're gonna do this German efficiency style. Now that the dough is kneaded, it's time to show the dough. This is what it looks like once it's been kneading. And we're gonna leave this to prove for a good hour, hour and a half, and I'm gonna show you how to roll it out, boil it, and bake it. Our dough has rested nicely and it's ready to be shaped and boiled and baked. So, we're gonna tip out our nicely rested dough. Just on a nice surface that you know doesn't stick too much. You could alternatively use just a little bit of flour, but we don't wanna have too much flour on here. Now we're gonna cut it into balls the size of 140 grams. And the way I do that is by cutting it up, putting it on top of my mixing bowl, and weighing it out. And if you're missing some, just add a bit more. I'm gonna take each piece of dough now, and I'm just going to tuck it in lightly, like that. And then I'm going to shape it into a ball. Place it on your tray. And we're gonna leave this for about five, 10 minutes covered. And then I'm gonna show you how to make that perfect pretzel shape. shaping fun because I am. So let's take out one of these balls and we're going to place it on a surface that is not too sticky. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take that, flatten it a bit and then we're just going to push in until we have a nice tense sausage. And now we're going to take our hands and we're going to apply pressure while rolling it out until it's about 70 centimeters long. Take the two ends and we're going to overlap them twice, like that. And then you're gonna press them down, like so. Pretzel done. If you've made pretzels before, you can go all fancy about it and try and do this as the Germans would do. Go around twice, down, off you go. So these are our finished pretzels. Now they're just going to rise for another 10 minutes just to rest. Then we're going to boil them and bake them. And I've got two different shapes here just because I like to get a bit creative. This is the classic pretzel shape. And I believe sometimes in Germany we even make this shape. So, totally up to you. I've prepared our boiling station. I've boiled some water and I've put some sugar in there, cast sugar. And now we're gonna take our pretzels and lift them in one by one for 10 seconds on each side. And then we're going to bake them. Back on the tray. Finish off with some egg white. Just brush it over lightly. And you can either immediately sprinkle it with salt or you're gonna take a scoring knife and you're just gonna score the bottom of it like that. That's a proper German style pretzel. We like to do that slash. And here we go. baked and they look amazing. They're probably going to taste incredible as well. And as always, my favorite part of basically everything I do is just to tuck right into these lovely gorgeous pretzels. So, let's just open this up Ooh. and check it out inside. Oh, so lovely. Look at that. What a nice pretzel. And it smells incredible. crunchy on the outside, it's got this nice salt and it's lovely on the inside, just the perfect pretzel. Dip it, 
top it with cheese, do whatever you like to do, make a nice sandwich out of them, and just enjoy and follow me for more videos on my YouTube channel.